Hey, so I don't like making too many of these videos on my channel because, well, I like to promote positivity and look on the bright side of everything. I try to make people happy, and like in my life and on YouTube. And I always say to myself, if I make one person happy, then my life actually means something. So recently, I've been watching a couple of Aaron James videos. If you haven't heard them, I'll leave links to his social media and YouTube channel down below. He made a couple of videos on certain things where I'm not going to talk about them because then like it's, it's his video. If you want to go check him out, I'll leave links to those videos down to below. But I related to what he was talking about quite a bit. Like. I was like kind of shocked by the fact that it was so similar. Yeah, you should go go check him out. He's a, a, he's an LGBT theater and Disney uh, YouTuber, and his smile just lights up a room. I gotta admit. Also, I I figure I might as well make a video uh, this about this because last Tuesday was World Mental Health Day, and I figured. Then now is as good a time as ever to talk about this and like, kind of raise awareness and stuff. But so, also for anyone watching who knows me, if you watch this video, please, please don't look at me differently, because my one worst fear is for people to not look at me the way I show I am right now as in like real life when you do see me that's the way I actually am. I want to be always known as the happy positive person that to try to like just be uh, to make people happy and <laughs> when he gets drunk he becomes a ninja. But yeah. Ever since I was a kid like really young I was pretty much a loner. I had very few friends and like for quite a while but most of my life I barely had any friends and I think that growing up that kind of had an effect on me because loads of, like, there's like loads of people that are like outgoing and it's have loads of friends and all be they can chat to anybody like certain people I know and then there's me like a very complicated case I am I literally was bullied all the way to uh, for, for my first school and then went off to a second school not for the reason of being bullied but yeah I, I was bullied in that school too and I was bullied in the school after that most likely that had an effect on me as well but mainly I know for a fact like after watching like a couple of things that I do suffer from anxiety and depression anxiety definitely I, I kind of always kind of said like certain aspects but the more I kind of I watched this random video recently or on more, more mental health day where I I kind of resembled how I was, thought it was kind of scary so I when I meet people I'm shy and like I know I've, I've talked about like the fact that I certain people I, I talk to a lot more than others because it seems for some reason I, I link with them a lot better than other people. But uh, I, whenever I meet a new person, I want to talk to them a load. But my anxiety just literally makes me stop. I, I, I want to talk to them, but basically my anxiety makes me think, oh, there's, there's no point in talking to them yet. Unless you actually just uh, find out something about them, there's no point in f talking to them at all because you know nothing about them. I know that's how you get to know a person, but I just, I can't, I could never do it and I can, still can't do it. To this day, I just, I like, most of the time, if I don't know the person and I don't click like them, uh, with them, I just say, just don't talk to them. You will eventually talk to them and then my one... Like I, I said it before, but my I have this fear that every person I meet, like I, I have a lot of friends who I just they barely talk to me after a while. Like I, I I'm not great at talking to people on Facebook because I prefer talking to them over like in real life, and I just I always ever since I like even that Irish YouTubers. Whenever I be with like I'm actually hanging out with them, like I meet them for the first time, and I see like I'm, I say like I 
have a tendency to say a person's my friend after like first time I meet them. Like I'm fucking st stupid like that. And I just, I always worry that even though I think they're a friend, I always worry that people look at me and my fir the first impression they meet me, they see I'm a shy person, so they don't talk to me. Like a lot of Irish YouTubers I know, I haven't seen them in ages, and I always like it's. I don't. This is probably gonna. If people know, like some people might know, I'm actually might be. I think I'm talking about, it, but I'm, I'm talking about it in general. When I see friends, like I, I watch Instagram stories or something like that, I see friends, I, like a lot of Irish YouTubers hang out together, and then I'm like free that day, and then I get no word. I'm like, do they hate me? My, this is like. I always have this feel, like, no matter what, for ages now, that every person I meet hate me. Like, when they don't talk to me, I think, do they hate me? Like, have I, do they don't want, want to talk to me anymore? I, and then I start overthinking everything. That's why I overthink a lot, because, like, my anxiety makes me overthink everything. I So I literally, when I don't talk to them and they don't talk to me for ages, I honestly think, they, they must not like me anymore. I, I start. I I try to be. I, when I see them again, I, I'm like hoping they want to talk to me, and it just destroys me. It it's this. I have like loaded of like like friends and cosplay and stuff like that. If I see them and they don't talk to me, I know you're supposed to make the effort to go over there and talk to them, but that's what anxiety pulls me away. It just stops me from actually go and interact with the person because I think they, they hate me I, I don't know if they actually want to talk like, like for ages now I, I that's why I don't talk to people I overthink everything I don't think they want to talk to me I start to say oh you should talk about this but then you don't talk I don't talk about it and then <sighs> and then like a uh, time goes by like like last city the pre city went on I went to that, I arrived at the time expecting to talk to people and knowing one person, that's how I actually interact with people, I went to it, I spent like an hour, like a couple of hours sitting there, not going over, they were right there, and I never even took the chance to walk over, like, so see, like a couple of people I knew like, like Jack in the vlog, he was over there and I would not go over there. It's not to do with like oh these are being a YouTuber thing. I just No one I knew over there, it's just I just felt like my anxiety just pulled me away. I just said no, there's no point in and like and I, when I then I left after a couple of hours and it literally broke me down. It's just oh I don't know. I I, I wanted to go over and chat to everyone but I just couldn't. That's why, because, like, no matter what, I always, as I said, work, I go and, like, slightly think that everyone goes on first impressions. Ever since I was a kid, I think that's because I, ever since I was a kid, I was a quiet guy. And if I don't talk a lot to the person, I don't talk at all. And when people actually ask me a question, I'd be like, I'd come out with a couple of words and that'd be it. Time goes by, everyone's chatting, I, I don't include I don't feel like I'm part of the group, I just I know people I I know that I say in my but I'm a shy extrovert that I don't like being in a group a big group but when I'm in a big group and I just wanna to talk to someone, I do talk to them, but then when they go to talk to someone else, I just sit there quietly because I don't know what else to say. It's has been killing me for years. The fact that I cannot talk to people. <laughs> and I seriously just want to and like and then whenever I just chat to people and people are like joking about stuff like, like I have like certain friends who they be joking as and like when they make like a joke like kind of like messing with you. My mind literally says they're not messing with you are serious and I th that's what makes me double think I I can't do they actually hate me do they are they making fun of me I, like that's just all the bullying I got was just 
I know that there's people out there in this UBC like who are suffering from worse and they're homeless and all that and like, people would say like shut up like you like you have a job, you've got a house, you've, you've got a family who loves you and I know all that, it's just like I always say to myself that friends are I know this is going to make me sound awful that my friends are my family, I know that my family are my family but I don't know, when I meet a person and I develop a relationship or friendship whatever you call it with them I want to be more talkative but I can't it's just overthinking everything that's just my mind is <coughs> ruined because I the fact I cannot talk to people I, like, I overthink everything I want to talk to people I sit there silently I, and like the funny thing is, when I drink, uh, like, when I, like, this is this is not a good um, um, kind of thing to th to take from this, but when I drink alcohol, I become so much more talkative because it seems like I'm just <laughs> more my more what I want to be when I'm drinking alcohol. I will just go in there and chat to everyone because some bit of alcohol is in me, and I will being a lightweight just <laughs> makes me more my hope to be self so yeah I just don't know there's stuff that I the funny thing is like like in no way I say like I just said that my friends are like slightly I don't please if you're you know me I know my family or you are my family don't take this the wrong way but I feel closer to my friends because your family are like yeah they're linked to you but and you get your you get along to see if they know you but my the friends I build friendships with I just your family knows you for a certain way but your friends will like will like hopefully your friends will accept you for whoever you tell them you are and you just don't but after a certain point you're just like oh, they can, I'll tell them whatever, whatever I need to tell them. And that's the only friends who actually, I feel like I'm, to just talk to. I think it was Kim who mentioned in one, like one of her videos that there are certain things that only her, only certain friends of hers know that everyone else doesn't. And I'm like that as well. Like only certain friends know certain things about me. And like, there's times I've like talked about these things online and they've almost backfired on me like some people might know what I'm talking about about a certain video I made in the past it's almost backfired on me I was this close to like breaking down if I, uh, I try to be more open on YouTube and talk about whatever I want, but certain things you talk about can really backfire on you. Luckily, they didn't backfire on me. Nothing backfired on me, luckily, at the time. Like, hopefully someday I can actually be myself. And like another reason, another thing that's kind of people have probably noticed about me is I can I edit a lot about this. I edit out a lot of stuff, but I have a slight speech impediment because I don't talk as much as I should. And people like I, I've like there's people that I chat to a lot more, and when I do chat to them, I like I like. One day at work, I was chatting to this one of those ones at work that I was I'm really I was really close with. I say it was because she's left now. Um, she, I t she told her everything, it's, and like it's, it's, she like she said once that it's, it's like a lot easier for some people like to take reveal stuff to them more than actually like your friends for some reason that actually worked for me. I I got I I literally told her everything, and. 
never even judged me. Like she never even looked at me weird. And, and like one day, like I, I, I was that she didn't speak. I was out. I, I don't know what I was at. I didn't speak at all. And then when I went and actually hung out with her, I wouldn't shut up. I would just keep keep talking. And it's like. The less I talk in like friend groups now, the more it builds up in my like mind. And it just when I start talking to people like I, I'm close with, all of it comes out in like a big bunch. Like I'll talk really fast, and because I talk really fast, all my words get jumbled up, and I'll go blah, and I uh, and I can't talk. I will like. Everything I say now all gets like I'll be talking and like everything gets mixed up and I know what I'm gonna say but I don't say it right and I forget certain words and I just don't know. Ever since like I think it's all because I, I just didn't don't talk to people as much as I should. And because I of all this I've got a speech impediment because I'm just terrible at talking to people. I, 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 I didn't, I, this is really what kind of brings up the depression on me was I like that video I watched like, it, like a couple of days ago like, you just like you, you talk to these people and like you send a message to someone or you or they send you a message or something like that and you don't get back to them and or they don't get back to you or like quite a few times I've like organized something with a friend or something and then the day comes and I hear no word from them and I think, do they hate me? What what did I do? Did I do something wrong? Did I not text like And then I don't then I like I think maybe I should text them and then then I think well, well maybe they'll text me and and then I just uh, I don't know. I'm just terrible at communicating over any sort of text form or like I'm not ter I'm not good at talking on the phone I'm not just talking in general. See what I mean? That I just, I, 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 I'm like not good at explaining stuff, but I literally just got everything out there. I think I've said everything. I really hope I've said everything. Just if anyone else like is kind of like me and suffers from anxiety and depression and stuff, just as I as for people seeing you know, all this help out there, I never really got help myself. I think, like, as I said, my friends are my help. And, well, I don't really talk to them about it, because how, how do you say that you can't talk to them because you can't talk to them? That's literally why I try to stay positive, and why I... People may think this is super... This is why I do The Secret as well. Because I believe in, in like, yeah, if you've heard of this, it's a book and a movie. It's, and, like, I, I believe in The Secret because I feel like... I stay positive and I hope for these things and like at the moment I'm kind of hoping for something specific to happen. I try to stay positive, I look on the bright side of everything. As people say you just have to fight through it but I've always had this, this I never really knew what it was, I never really, really specifically thought of it as a voice in the back of my head. But like people say anxiety, it's like I've always had this silent voice in my head. I know silent voice that doesn't make sense, but I've always had this voice in my head that I literally couldn't hear, but it was still driving me to think, overthink everything, not talk to people, not being able to talk to people, just not being saying words, not just and when I say words, they all get mixed up because I can't say it, and like forget what I'm saying and then I oh just <coughs> sorry I just I uh, I just got everything out there and like I try to contact with people but I can't I want to text people but I don't know how to text them I want to talk to people like I have loads of people's I, I no that's just telling them Brian but I have a load of numbers on my phone and I'd say I talk to like three of them. I have their numbers. I don't even try and communicate with them. I, I, 
I don't even have like some YouTubers I know I don't even have their number and when I'm out I just I want to contact them but then that voice in my head just says don't contact them they're probably busy doing their actually living their life don't bother them that's literally how I think of it and I try and try to pull myself out of that and contact them. Like I've done, I've done, I pushed myself and done that. Like, like recently, I, I, I was, I chatted to three British YouTubers on uh, Ethan Violet's live stream. I may have tweeted him a couple of times, retweeted his tweet. I met these three people: Lubby, uh, Abby, and Pete, and. I only met them over a live stream, and I met them. It's like I, then, like when I went to that London that like a couple of weeks ago, I chatted to them, and it's like it felt so normal. And it's just like for like YouTubers, I just I feel I feel at home with YouTubers. Oh, I'm just gonna end this video here. I've been talking for 28 minutes. Um, I'm done. Just. Remember, if anyone else uh, like, suffers from any anxiety or depression, or just remember there's always someone out there who can help. Never consider suicide. Never. Just remember there's always help out there. I'll leave some links down below to help you out. Right. Bye, guys. See you later. Oh, and also, if you're suffering from depression or just feeling there, find something that cheers you up. No matter what it is, whether it's dancing, singing, or who cares if you're a bad singer, who cares if you're a bad dancer, whatever you like doing, just go and do it. Read, sing, do impressions, go outside, scream from the rooftops. I've done that a couple of times. Just... Go do something that makes you happy and don't let those feelings bottle up. I even cry. Some people feel like crying is the best way to just release all those feelings or just shout your head off. Just find something to get rid of. Talk to people. Do something that just can get rid of your anger or stress or sadness. Just what well, I found makes me happy now is just singing, dancing, just listening to music. Recently I just feel like that calms me down. Like that's that's why like recently I, I've slowly started to not give two fidges about anybody that looks at me. I will dan I I've walked through the city dancing around to music. People laugh at me but Screw them. There's nothing they can do. As I say, they're just jealous that they don't try it themselves. Done. I'm gone again. Bye.